Today we're going to take a look at UNET Boot-In. UNET Boot-In is a utility that's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, which allows you to make a USB, a bootable USB drive, starting from any Linux ISO file that you download from the internet. Rather than uh, burning them to a DVD or a CD, you would just uh, copy them over using this utility and it will become a bootable drive. So to begin with, you would go to the unetbootin.github.io and then you will come to this page. The link I'll provide in the description as well. You just click on it. It takes you to this page. If you have Windows, you'd click here, Linux there, Mac OS there. I've already downloaded it to my Windows and I brought it to my desktop, saved it to my desktop. And there it is here. So it's an executable file. It doesn't need to be installed in the system. Just double click it. And then we'll have to give it uh, permission. Click yes here. And then the utility should start up. And there's the utility. Now to use it, you can have it directly download the distribution, but it doesn't have all of the uh, available distributions, but some of the more popular ones. But they don't, it doesn't seem to have, depending on which uh, version of this UNET boot in you have, it doesn't necessarily give you the, uh, the latest uh, available versions of the uh, various distributions. You're probably best off to download the uh, ISO file yourself which I've done here with this Arch Merge ISO. Then you would just click on disk image here. Make sure it's an ISO. I don't think there's very many floppy uh, versions available anymore. But anyways, ISO. Click here to search for it. Should give me a little uh, search box here. I've downloaded it to the desktop. Go down, there's Arch Merge, open. Type USB drive rather than hard disk. If you have an external hard disk that's small enough, I guess you could use it for this. Um, it's mostly meant for thumb drives, USB drives though. Uh, drive F, it'll depend on where your uh, drive is mounted. If you're not too sure, you would take a look here. Make sure it's not your D drive, which is your CD, not your C drive, which is your system drive. Your removable disk is F for me. This is the one. So make sure it's F is selected. You don't want to accidentally choose your uh, your C drive for this. Then you would click OK, and then the uh, installation process will start. Once it's completed, which usually takes about 5 to 10 to 15 minutes maybe, give it the time to, to go through its uh, complete process. Once it has the uh, bootloader installed and it says installation complete, then you can just click on reboot or exit. And then uh, you make sure that your BIOS settings, you have it, uh, your computer, so that it'll boot from your USB drive or if you have a... Uh, a temporary boot drive selector usually with my computer I'll just hit F9 it'll give me uh, the list of uh, what I want it to boot from then you just select your boot drive make sure that it's your select your USB stick as your boot device and then it'll boot from the USB so that should be it for this I'll just let this run through and uh... yeah that should be it for today <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.